and welcome to Get the Word in Your Case International. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson coming to you with a word from the Lord. God is good. He is good all of the time and worthy to be praised. He's the Most High God, El Elyon, El Che, the living God who loves us with a true agape love. And He wants to pour that love into our heart, write it on our mind, and keep us in perfect peace. The Lord loves us with a true, unconditional love. He cleanses us from all of our sins and forgives us and throws that sin away from himself as far as the east is from the west and forgets it. He remembers it no more. You're no longer under the curse because of what Jesus has done. The curse is sin. That curse is sinful nature. The curse is what comes from living in that nature of sin. We're no longer are we under the curse, but we have been made free by Jesus Christ. It's what he did. When he went to that cross, When see, even before then, when they made the plan in heaven, and he said, I'll go, <laughs> if you can put it like that. He comes into this world with the assignment to deliver mankind from the bondage of sin, sin and death. It, he comes with an assignment. The Word becomes flesh. The Word of God becomes flesh and takes a punishment, a beating, a bruising, a bleeding, a, a tearing of the flesh a nailing of the hands and the feet and the, and the ropes that were wrapped around him and the crown that was shoved down on his head. All of this is what mankind deserved, but not what God deserved. But God sending his own son in the likeness of this sinful flesh, he destroyed sin in the flesh. God, he, the Father, allowed his son to be bruised and beaten and battered because he wanted to save us, you and me. He wanted to save you and bring you into his house. But there was no way he could do it through, through us. He had to send his own self in the likeness of the sinful, dirty, filthy, do it my own way flesh. Lean on my own understanding and get it all messed up flesh. Hmm? Deceived flesh. And I'm, when I say flesh, I'm really talking about the soul. Because even as your body is speaking you, to you saying, oh, I'm in pain. Or, oh, I feel like doing this and I feel like doing that. It's the mind that really takes hold of that feeling. That, that, uh, that thing that crawled in the flesh, flesh and blood body, and said, oh, I want this and I want that. It, it, it doesn't know what it really needs until it sees, till it hears what is holy, till it sees what is true. And it knows the truth when it sees it even if it hurts, even, e even as the flesh is aching and desiring to have that which is filthy and dirty and sinful in its nature. Yeah, I just went off the path again. <laughs> but it, it knows what's holy and can thirst and hunger for holiness. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak is what Jesus says. He says, pray that you will not fall into the temptation, that you won't go down that wrong path, that you won't, you know, that you won't sin. Pray. Come to the Father. Confess your faults. Conf the Bible says confess your faults one to another. The Lord is able to forgive us of our sins and to restore our souls. I, I said it that way because it says that he's, 
He's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from our unrighteousness. He's going to remind you of the truth. His word cleanses you from all the filthiness that's going on in the soul, in the mind, will, and emotions. Now back to the flesh again, back to that soul of ours. The Lord knows how to restore the soul. So Jesus is the only one that could come and deliver us from the bondage of the flesh. Because the Lord, the Father of heaven and earth, looked throughout all the earth and he couldn't find one person who wasn't having a wicked thought. One person that just didn't have some evil intention in their heart toward their neighbor. There wasn't one. Even, even Noah had his moment. I pray for us to choose life today. It, it, Noah, he gets, he gets off that ark after that long of being on the water. Sets up a, a thing to worship the Lord. Grows some grapes and the, he gets drunk. I mean, inebriated drunk. I mean, fall out, pass out drunk. This is worship? <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Then he turns around and he curses his son. He cursed a whole nation. Now, I wish he had thought ahead of time before he opened up his mouth to be mad at his son for doing the, the stupid thing that he did. And he cursed a whole entire nation with his mouth. He gave the blessings to his other sons, but to this son, he gave a curse. Yeah. But God knew that evil would continually be in the heart of man. And that's why he couldn't send anybody else but Jesus. He couldn't send anybody else but himself. God is salvation. That's the meaning of the name. This is the Holy One, the Son of God. God takes iniquity. He takes all the sin. He puts it on Jesus. I'm so glad he couldn't be corrupted like that. He took this stuff. He went into, he got nailed to the cross. And he still resisted sin on the bloodshed. Unto death. He looked up and he gave his he gave his spirit to the Father. Into your hands I commit my spirit. And he hangs his head and and, and God took him. You know, no, well, you know, he went down into 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 hell and, and took the authority that man had given, that that mankind gave to the devil. He took back the authority. From him and ascended back into the heaven. He, oh, you gotta read it for yourself. It's in the word. But we've been delivered from the confusion of life. We've been delivered from the torment of life without God. There's no curse in this world that can have you because you belong to Christ. If you said yes to Jesus, he bore your sin. He bore your sorrows. He took your pain. He took the disease. He took everything that comes from the curse being separated from God on himself and came out victorious, leaving sin on the cross. He left it there and he gave us life. We don't have to live in this pain and suffering in our mind anymore over what somebody else has done whatever somebody else is doing I don't care who they are <laughs> I don't care who they are I don't care how closely connected they are to you whether it's your child or your husband or your wife I don't care if it's your daughter I don't care if it's your mother your father I don't care if you're eight years old and your parents are, are filled with just just evil you choose life today you choose to follow Christ today. You choose to you choose Christ today because he bore the curse. He bore all the sorrow, all the grief so that we could have peace in our heart. The Lord is directing your steps and will continue to direct your steps and and and, and comfort you with his love. 
He'll fill you with the knowledge of his will and give you wisdom and spiritual understanding so that you can able be able to do a great work today, a good work today, to encourage somebody else today. And look, I, all I want is for us to be in one mind, and that is the mind of Christ. I want us to be after one heart, the heart of God, and live in him forever. We will see each other. We will see each other. We will be with each other forever. But we need to get over here into this place where we choose life. And that life is the Son. That life is the spirit of life that God has sent into our hearts. He reminds us of all truth. He, he takes, the, you know, when fear comes in and anxiety and all the cares of this life come to try to flood you and you begin to tremble and be fearful and afraid well the holy spirit is in you to remind you of all truth the spirit of life is giving you the life that god has in mind for you we're all on the same path it's a narrow one and the enemy is wanting to snatch us right off of that path but when we stay in the love of God, when we stay with our mind right over here, casting all of our care. See, the mind has all the care, right? It cares about everything that goes on with it. It always trying to think, trying to think of what can I do? What am I going to do about this? Ah, ah. But when we take this mind and bring it before God, he gives us his mind. God is greater than every situation that we face in this life. And he's able to get you through it. He's given us his spirit. He's poured his spirit into our hearts. And his spirit is, is going, Abba, Father. He's, he's drawing us to call on the Father and to stay in him. You don't have to worry about doing all this, this hard work. Jesus went to that cross for us so that we would not have to do something, perform something in order for God to give something. We have life and life more abundantly. And, and listen, when you have peace, you can think. You can you can you have creative ideas living on the inside of you. God has put everything for us in the spiritual realm, in the in, in the heaven for us. He put everything right there. That good idea, that cure, the wealth, the health, the soul, prosperity. It's all right there. The freedom that we need in the Father. It's been done by the Son. And he put all that goodness right there in heaven for us so that rust and dust and moth can't corrupt it. Thieves can't break in and steal it. But when we draw near to God and we get his knowledge and we get the, when we get the mind of Christ... When we really just say, okay, here, Father God, here's the situation. Uh, I, I, I take, I choose not to fear. I choose life and peace today. If we follow the Spirit, right, we have life and peace. If we're spiritually minded, we have life and peace. And he's reminding us, again, he's reminding us of all truth, of what is, of what the real issue is if <laughs> oh, how do you say it he'll show you how to overcome every issue oh this is pastor cheryl jackson i get the word in your face international get the word in your face the lord loves you with a true agape love and he wants to pour it out in your heart and in your mind all we have to do is take all the if we have any work to do it's the laboring to rest i'm telling you Resting in what God said in his truth and saying what he said about the situation, even if the situation doesn't look like it, even if the situation doesn't feel like it. I want us to get over the feeling part, though, and really begin to walk by faith and not by sight. Walk in the knowledge of God. Keep submitting to God, picking up what the Lord said and applying what he said. There's gifts and talents and abilities in you. And we need it. We, we need your gifts, your talents, and your abilities. Be strong in the Lord today. Be blessed, people of God. I love you.